for this build, I'm going to be using Akko Lavender Purple Switches, which honestly feel really similar to the NK Blueberry Switches. A little bit less defined of a bump, but overall they're pretty nice. These are plate mount switches, so when hand wiring it is a little bit annoying, but it's really not that big of a deal since I've done so many. So I actually lost my switch opener, but luckily these were kale style switches, so I could easily open them with my fingernail. It was pretty annoying because I lost a lot of springs in the process, but overall it worked. For the springs, I'm going to use the baggy method, and I'll be using Crytox 105. I don't really ever count how many drops I put in, I just put enough and then I shake the bag a lot. I'll be using Crytox 205 for the stems. Spacebar will use a 7U plate mounted Durek that has been tape modded, lubed with 205, and then packed with dielectric grease. The most common issue I encounter with hand wired boards is stabilizers, and with this board I actually ended up soldering all the columns and then realizing that my spacer was jamming, so I had to redesign the plate and then re-solder the columns, but luckily I cut it early so there wasn't that much additional work. This is a new plate, and in order to help with jamming issues I actually use a heavier switch for the space bar. This one in particular is a lubed and filmed holy panda. Recently I started coiling my diodes which makes it a lot easier when soldering to the switch. I also now wrap the diode around the row wire for a better connection. I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi Pico for this build, and it's going to be the controller I'm going to be using going forward. It has a lot more flash memory on board and a lot more GPIO pins, so it's overall just a more future-proof controller. Now it gets all wired up with an Ethernet cable. Then I hot glue the controller into the case, assemble it, and add my keycaps. <laughs> 